the collection platform. Because as far as I can recall, when it came to housing, well, that's a state issue, that's a local issue. We need more of it that's, no, let's take ownership of it at the federal level, because being able to afford a, a home where you can raise a family has been part of that American dream that I talked about earlier. I think the biggest challenge for housing affordability these days, especially in a place like California, is the lack of supply, right? Basic economics. Low supply, high demand, Senator or prices going to go down. Right so now, housing. Israel is bombing thousands and thousands of houses in Palestine. Will you commit to ending oh, all aid to Israel? Right now, oh, there's a genocide don't happening, don't worry, don't worry. and you are getting support from APAC in order to, in order to keep funding this genocide. Uh, one second. Uh, hold on. I would love to no, have, if you're okay answering. No, Palestinians but, can't hold on. No, no, no. Um, if, he answers you, if, if he answers your question, would you um, allow us to continue after that? Is that all right? Thank you. Senator Padilla, do you mind answering? Sure. The, uh, uh, so a couple of things. First, what, what's been done, I know uh, not everybody was thrilled with all the elements of it, but I did vote for the security package a couple of months ago. That, that killed thousands included, of That included significant humanitarian Aid that a lot of us Tons of weapons to Israel. Do you mind letting him answer the question? Thank you. But I, th I think most importantly, what everybody wants to see long term is not just a ceasefire. Yes, I support the ceasefire, but how is the region going to provide stability, security, peace, and frankly, hope for a better future for everybody in the region? How can you provide a better future for everybody, Israel, everybody when people in Gaza, Gaza and everybody and their lives are strung across? the buildings in Palestine. How right. can you provide security we, and peace when people's entire family lineages are evaporating from existence? Thank you. He did answer your question, and so if you don't mind allowing us to continue the conversation, The right answer is not there, though. He I understand that, but- to fund the genocide, I, I understand that. he continues to receive APAC money, he continues but, to receive money from the Israel lobby. Okay, can we continue on with the conversation now? It's just impossible to continue on with a conversation when he continues to fund the genocide. Guys, guys, thank you very much. We're going to continue on. 75% of Democratic voters in California don't move her. Support a ceasefire. Okay. And support thank stopping all aid to Israel. Why do you continue to refuse to meet with your constituents okay, who thank, want a ceasefire now? Thank you very much. Now? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. The next question I'm going to ask you is about the public school system, and I know that I'm not going to stop talking because I. There's and a Palestinian 13 Latina that made it, uh, who can see a cobarde right in front of me who won't stop talking, who won't even acknowledge that his constituents want a ceasefire, want to enter the genocide. Why can't you, you meet with your constituents? You've been heard. You've been Why heard. can't you even look at me, Senator Padilla? All right, Louise. Please, you need to stop funding this genocide. We they, need an armed struggle now. We need to continue now. the conversation. So if you don't, if you're, if you're not going to respect our rules, we're going to have to ask genocide. you to leave. Over 200,000 Palestinians have been murdered in cold right. blood. What we, we're going to have to ask you to leave now, which you don't often do, but we just need to continue on the conversation, okay? I understand, but I need to continue voicing this because it we is understand that. to continue funding right. this genocide. Come on, who's with me? Yeah. We, we, we support you. No, we support you. Yeah. Right. The question I have over here is, do you, do, you, do you support every single year? He do, is bought out do, by the Do you impact. support term limits on senators? If so, how many terms how can we do you limit the senators? How can be listening to him when he term continues limits, that's, uh, to fund the genocide? He has blood on his hands. There are thousands of Palestinian children right. who are dying. Come on, we're witnessing a genocide in our homes every day. We, we, you talk about mental health. What about the mental health of our constituents who are watching this genocide every single day? We hear you. We, we hear you. He has answered your question. Well, he hasn't heard us. Because if he didn't hear us, then he would he, stop funding this genocide. He answered because your question. Because money is what speaks. Money is what's powerful. And you, Senator Padilla, have the power to say something. We're not going to continue to be silent on this issue. All right. It's, it's time for you to go. Please. I won't go. But it, it's time for you to go. We have to continue the conversation. I'm asking you. No, I know. You, I, and Senator Padilla needs to say commit to an arms embargo of Israel now. He has answered your question already. He hasn't answered the because if he were murder, if he were seeing the murder of Palestinian children every day right in front of him, then he wouldn't be thinking about his mortgage. He wouldn't be thinking about his groceries well, or how we are able to fund our, are we able to put money on the table for our groceries. He would be thinking that I there did are parts I did, of, I asked him about, not received aid. I did ask him about affordability, so he was answering a question that I asked him. So he it's not that. He does not question Palestine affordability because okay. there isn't even flour to eat 
There isn't even a place to stay. Tents are being bombed. Thank you. At this point, I do want to I want to continue that conversation with him. So, Senator Padilla, what what are your what are your priorities for your second term? I know you have another term coming up, and I would love to talk a little bit about what are those, what are those priorities. I, think I want to be able to continue, but I think that just, less for me, more for the audience, to be able to listen and get some more questions in. So, this way, so we get some more questions. Yo no le doy dinero a Israel. Yo no le voy a dar más dinero a este genocidio. ¿Cómo voy a ser tan cobarde? Dígame, ¿no le puede dar una, una respuesta a una latina también? A una persona que también tiene eh, papás inmigrantes. But we're not interested only in hearing your opinion. We're also interested in hearing the question. Yeah, well, he has been topic. silent on Israel this whole time. And now he's going to have to leave. And we thank you. We have heard you. We thank you. This is what a civic space is all about. Yes, this is what happened when I had a conversation. To say but, but, to but, it is, but it's, but it's, but it's, but it's not a conversation because we, we didn't even know. There is a statement. He you continues to receive aid grant money and what is what talks. He continues to be funded by the Israeli lobby. That's why he can't even look at me in the face. I don't know how you sleep at night knowing that you are helping Please be respectful to my guests. I am asking you that. Please be respectful. Senator Pia, will you commit to stopping? A to Israel. Will you commit to an arms embargo to Israel? Do you think he's like completely funded by $30,000? Will you commit to the genocide? Senator Padilla has signed bills that continue to provide aid to Israel. He's got to pay back, right? To continue to provide funding for the genocide. That's it. All right. It's not like $2 million. Go ahead, yes. I should have not come here tonight to walk out or to make any particular statement, but. I have to say, I'm really inspired by you coming here and, and sharing your story and your voice. And I also would like to say as your constituent, I agree, I'm really concerned. I'm, I'm horrified by what I've seen in Gaza. And I plan to, I'm going to be walking out. Um, okay. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I, I appreciate that. Maybe, Senator, if you want to directly yeah, yeah. answer any questions, you can finish her statement. But it's, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to be clear, uh, but I can expand. I, I do support it. Let these one interrupt the Senator. Thank you. I do support a ceasefire. Yeah. So we don't care about that. But for a ceasefire to be achieved, it's it's not a unilateral ceasefire. All the parties involved need to agree. That's been the off and on again unsuccessful negotiations. People can't give up hope. But right? it can't be a one way ceasefire. I don't think that would be fair with this this side or that side. Uh, but the true question is long-term benefit, right? When you re read the news or you're watching the news on television, there's talk about what's the day after plan. Um, I, I will say this, the, the Palestinian people, I believe, will be better off not living under the thumb of Hamas. Yeah. I am a Palestinian American. I am a taxpayer. I voted for you. Don't you dare say that the problem is not the occupation of Palestine. The problem is apartheid, ethnic cleansing, genocide, and apartheid. Don't you dare say that the Palestinians are causing their own problems. Don't you dare. No, there is no conversation. No, Israel has been killing Palestinians since 1948. Don't give me this bullshit that it started on October 7th. This is bullshit. You voted. 
You voted for, listen, no, you he voted for $14 billion. No, he voted for $14 billion when we were all witnessing children getting their heads blown off. Why? 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 It's not. No, we don't actually. I don't want to talk about it. You think I want to be here? No, I don't. I wanted this to end a year ago. I want him to say that he will commit to an arms embargo right now and I will leave. Will you commit to an arms embargo? It's a, a yes or no question. It's a yes or no. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him. He's the one. He's the one I voted for. I didn't vote for you. I voted for Alex Padilla. If he can tell me he'll vote for an arms embargo, I will walk out. Senator, will you support an arms embargo or not? I think I'm more complex than that. Okay. It's not complex, it's so, simple. Okay. Will so you're not watching genocide on your phone? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to these, I'm gonna get to the questions that were So he said he will, it's too complex. Okay. All right, the first question is, um, what is the story about Latinos that you wanna hear in this? No, there are children dying right now and he cannot say that that he that's complicated is that really complicated that there's kids being killed every day up the mics what is the story about latinos that you want to hear latinos support palestine latinos support palestine we need an arms embargo as someone who's traveled to Arizona, Pennsylvania, Nevada, uh, just the last 10 days alone, we hear the, the, the description of the Latino communities on models, right? Uh, so if you look at demographics and political conversation, that's absolutely the case. The Latino community in California is different than Arizona, different than South Texas or Florida or Pennsylvania. And so uh, by neither party, Democrats or Republicans, should the Latino vote be taken for granted. And if you really want to appeal to Latino voters, you got to get out there and do the work that you would would do and should do in any other segment of the election. Uh, so I think the political punditry class is understanding a little bit more of what that is, and I hope the candidates and political parties start doing their outreach accordingly. Right We're voters too. We matter too. Arabs and Muslims that matter. We matter. Our children, our friends and families are being killed. Do you not understand? Our friends, our families are being murdered every single day. I can't stand genocide. I can't stand genocide. I can't stand genocide. I can't stand watching the children get blown up every day. Can you? Do you do you Okay, they're not being genocided, so uh, fuck off. No, they're not. No, they're not. Two hundred thousand Palestinians. Senator, would you please considering? Um, oh, sorry. Where are the Can we put this to a vote? No, no, because voting has not stopped the fucking genocide. We want him to call on Senator. I mean, Vice President Harris to support an arms embargo, and he's saying it's too complicated, that kids being murdered every day is too complicated. Is that not is that sitting okay with you people? I think, I think, I don't want to speak for the audience, but I think they're trying to he learn has about the this, power man. To say they're, they're, they're this man. This man? They're trying to understand who this is. He, support, he supports and genocide. Respect, you guys are making it, you're making it hard for them to actually get to know him. No, he. How about this? How about this? Because I've never, I've never ever, in all of the people that I've interviewed on the stage, I've never Can you even look at me in the face? Knowing that my family in Palestine is being genocided? We have 14 days until this election. And I guess my question for you is for the people who are in the audience. What are like one or two things that you would ask them to do to make sure that we have the best outcome in this election? For the people of California. For the people of California, look up. Most people will have 
friends, extended family, who know somebody in other right states. Now. I mean, it's, it's pretty clear. We all know what the key states are around the country. How did you visit Israel that this and not is all notice coming that down it was to whether it's the state. presidential contest or even the majority in the Senate. So communicate in any way you can. Phone calls, huh? text messages, emails to those voters in Arizona, Senator, Nevada, yeah, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Florida, Georgia, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina. Uh, and beyond, even in Nebraska, from what I'm hearing, uh, and I'm not giving up on Texas and Florida in those Senate contests either. This is going to be a close contest, murdered. just like 2016 was, just like 2020 was. How and so all of like our efforts can and will make a difference. So, uh, 14 days left. That's the live outreach that we can all do. Well, I am very thankful that Senator Padilla came here today. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You support genocide. You are a genocide supporter. You are a genocide supporter. You're sad. You're sad. You're not sad that he voted for genocide. You're not sad he voted to send $14 billion of our fucking taxes to go to Israel. How much of your pay? We can't. This is exactly what this space is supposed to be about. Yo, to have conversation and not be shot down. So I'm disappointed. I'm a teacher. I'm, shut I'm up. I'm, I'm a teacher. I am a teacher. And we cannot afford basic shit I'm, in our school because our government is I sending billions of dollars was, to genocide. You in your office, I think it's probably a good idea to end this event, which I've never had well, to do before. Well, right. well so if you weren't with us now, you were never with us. You're never going to be with us, huh? Where are your priorities? Do you really think screaming people matter when there's children being genocided? Yeah, but I, I, I think the environment, the environment is not conducive to listening. You know, uh, no, y'all have not. You have been ignoring Palestine. Palestinians for a year. Listen to Palestinians. Listen to the people being mass murdered. Listen to people being mass murdered. You have blood on your hands. And let my words haunt you. Let Palestinian children scream haunt you every night. Join to go to sleep. Join the joint resolution with Bernie Sanders. I think if you are not on our side, you're never gonna be on our side. Shame on you. 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 I'm Palestinian. Don't fucking talk to me like that. Do not fucking talk to me like that. Do not fucking talk to me like that. I'm Palestinian. I'm